Thank you so much, uh, Danny Clisham. Our Jets right now are in the shoot on their way in. And uh, just to set the field for you quickly, Cliff McGee is going to be uh, the closest in, followed by uh, Heather Lucky Penny, number 21. Raju Grace will be second. Tom Richard. we got three, four rookies so running side by side, at least in class. Tom Richard uh, in the Iskra, the pole dancer, is a Jet rookie. Greg McNutt, a Jet rookie in 76. And then John Cockshorn, a Jet rookie in the L-29's Screaming Eagle. Lee Beal is, uh, I'm sorry, Rick Vandom is next. And then uh, Steve Picotti, a rookie in the Provo. And finally, Kurt Brown in the L-39. And here they are. This is what the uh, race is interesting. The uh, biz jet is pulling off the center, which is the pace. And within the pack today, Kurt Brown, who normally is the uh, lead jet in the gold, he is actually flying as a safety pilot today in Robin 54. But as we know from yesterday's race, Kate does, or Kurt does not like to follow anybody. The interesting race we have is with uh, Heather Lucky Penny, who celebrated her birthday yesterday. And uh, I would say the close race, we had a couple of problems yes last night with um, the Iskra, which is the first time racing today. But what you have out front is Cliff McGay. Well, you talk about meeting a nice guy. This is definitely, he had the next generation of all the jet kids down in front of the jets taking pictures. But he's on, he's focused today and he's looking good out front. This course is the uh, basic unlimited course. And the uh, initial uh, run in, is just under uh, uh, just under eight miles, and uh, the jet course itself is eight and a half miles around. So this is the first lap. We'll, we won't give you a speed on the first lap. We'll start with the second lap, so you can get something to compare them with. Look at that. This is already good to see. We've got the uh, pole dancer. It's a pole, first time Polish fighter trainer racing in the track today. Already catching up that L39 with Cliff McGay. And uh, that is an interesting race for Tom. Tom cut his teeth in the Formula One clash. You're going to see him drop down to the deck. You can't okay, drop the floor 50 feet or exceed 250 feet off the ground. And you're going to see why Tom was silver and gold in the Formula Ones last year. That guy gets down to the deck and races hard. Heather's uh, airplane is the L-29. Raju Grace is orange. And uh, you can pick her out easily enough when you we got a couple of airplanes that actually match color. Uh -huh. They uh, weigh on the back side. This is that straightaway. It's about two miles long. Yeah, these are all stocked aircraft. There goes Tom coming down like he's thinking it's a Formula 1, making a pass already on Cliff, which I'm telling you, on these jets, the L-39 is a much stronger. And Tom, all right, this is why he's a uh, gold champion from Formula 1. This guy is making an aggressive move, but I don't think Cliff's going to give up. And he has. Oh, Tom has take the front on this race with the first time of this Polish fighter trainer on the course. Yeah, Heather coming in. I talked to her dad just before coming up to the stage, and uh, they had a birthday party for the twins last night. And I think John was really thinking Penny was going to be a lot harder on the course, but she's still got still a lot of track left before they run out. These guys are finding a particular path, and they're only looking at the ground and the line of sight. It's formation flying, which I was trying to catch the track coming down. These guys look for a marker when they come down the chute. They stay in perfect formation. They hit that fourth pylon, and they have to hold it. If you break formation, then you're cut from the race. But also, you can fail by cutting a pylon or breaking the deck. First uh, lap was at 429. Second lap was at 430. Uh, very nice. These are airplanes that were designed to be in the low 400s, original design, but we've taken all the avionics and all the weapon systems out and made them just race airplanes for everybody today. And John, uh, this, I'm sorry, but oh, he is doing a great job on this Iskra. Tom Richard, look at this here. Oh, he really is honking along. Much better than yesterday, and I know Cliff being the aggressive... Uh, attorney that he is he was telling me early he does not like to lose but he's not doing very well in that cockpit but here's here's kurt who kurt i told you up. does not like to follow anybody making yeah. a very aggressive move on heather and it looks like he is although he's way on the outside it looks like when he gets into that back stretch that long stretch up the uh, towards the north that he may have a shot at it but he's still Kurt is right behind Heather Penny. Yeah, those L-29s are slower than the L-39s when stocked. And as we know, when you go in the gold class, you're going to see something a lot different. But just look at the, on the back course what these guys, oh, there he's making his move on Penny in the back, and he's going to try to slice just to cut her off. Now, that's a faster jet. 
We'll see if he does it. Oh, very conservative move getting behind her. He's make he's trying to intimidate her just a little bit, and that's why he's a shuttle commander. That guy does not like being second. He's going to be working his way up very aggressively now. Oh. Tom being the Formula One, if you look at his line, he is holding a perfect elevation across the deck. Got another pass coming back further in the pack. Yeah, I haven't been able to tell if that's John from Australia or Greg McNutt, but we're going to find out shortly, and I think Cliff is going to stay on the back of... Third lap was at 448 miles, of almost 449 miles an hour. This one was at 441. Uh, oh, that's excellent. That's much better than we are anticipating. Now, see, Kurt's going to find a particular altitude. He's going to hold it right there and keep Heather just behind him because she can still make a move on that uppercut. She's going to try to take the higher altitude and try to slice down, but uh, Kurt's not going to allow that by any chance. Now, for a racing class that uh, was recreated back in 2007, non-afterburner racing, these are like stocks, but just a little bit cleaned up for today's race. And you yeah. see, Cliff is not going to give up on... Tom at all in the back. He's trying to make a move on the far left side, and we're going to see if he takes him. Tom's that Formula One guy. He's going to hold that deck, and Cliff is not going to give up. That is a faster jet, but Tom is working hard to keep him off his six. John Cockshorn pulled ahead of Greg McNutt on the last lap, and we're in lap five of the six-lap run. The white flag will be coming up. This is where he would take him. What's, that Iskra uh, the Nor is owned by the International Friction Pavement Association. Other than racing, it's a test platform used for research and education. But today, I think uh, Cliff is getting that education on that pylon that a Polish fighter trainer could almost keep up with an L-39 stock. And there goes Kurt. Penny. Last lap at 449.14, so. That's Screaming Eagle right you. there with John. It looks good. John Coxhorn and Greg McNutt. Greg McNutt, a lot of rookies in this race. Uh, also, I must say, John Kirchhorn from Australia, number 11, also a form of the Formula One. We've got two extremes of the field. Oh, a little slight dip there. I'll have to watch to see if he breaks the uh, ground. There's your favorite plane, Spud, which I can tell you, Steve, four decades of aviation. More hours than I've had a chance to see that he is still on the track working hard with these airplanes. <laughs> and look at Tom is just, we did a little bit of adjustments last night. We had a kind of a concern with a failure, and the guys pulled an all nighter. Great tech crew we have for all these jets, but Tom is keeping Cliff right there's, behind him. There's the uh, checkered flag as, uh, as Tom Richard has managed to hold off uh, Cliff McGee and will unofficially become the winner of the Silvers in the Jets. 444 miles an hour, 442, 4.62 with an average speed of 453.717. Kind of that's surprised why that, me. That's why that Iskra, you know, we call it a pole dancer. I know you got to chuckle. It's a Polish fighter race around pylons. That's where the name came from. Now we're going up the altitude to cool those engines down. As I heard somebody earlier, the uh, gloves are off. This is big race day, and everybody's very serious what they're going to do. I, I think the friendships are still there, but the racing is more competitive. There's John from Australia. Nice run, John. A little wide sp spread here on Spud coming up. He's going to line up for the final off of here. And there's what jet racing is for this new generation. Fast, four, 500 miles an hour on the track of the pylons. Great race. Well, uh, we're just right now doing the uh, pylon polling, and we'll say that the pylon polling should be in pole dancer's favor if he... Uh, flew a good race uh, where they're pulling the pylons and uh, that's kind of thing. It sounds almost dirty, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we were dogging it yesterday on that jet, but uh, she she really ran well today. When she writes more than two words, I get real, real nervous, so. We're going to have an update for everybody in just a second. The speeds were... Heather Penny apparently cut one of the pylons. And is that the only cut they got? Are you still working on it? Okay. So the speed you had there on Tom was 428. Read them off, Frank. Okay, I'm just waiting on the. Uh, you got you got one one cut, and uh, it was in the pack. It was uh, I think it was Heather Penny, 
And I'm not going to worry about the timing right now, but the winner would be Tom Richard. Congratulations. Well, thank you. It's great. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's great okay. to see that for a change after this week we've had. I know. It's been, it's been a tough week for a lot of people. All right. Well, it'll, in a, just about a minute, we're going to begin our opening ceremony while the Jets are landing. And uh, we have... Uh, if uh, everybody gets a chance after these Jets land, you're more than welcome to come down to the Jets section, which is down at the right hand of the field. At the very end, you'll be able to meet these pilots, meet their technicians. There will be signing autographs and saying hello and tell you how much we what all appreciate it? you looking at jet racing today. Oh.